I was the prosecutor of Charles Manson, uh, but I wasn't just the prosecutor. I did not limit my role to just being the prosecutor. Uh, the traditional role of a prosecutor in a criminal case throughout the years has always been twofold. Number one, to handle the legal aspects of the case, and number two, to present evidence in court gathered by law enforcement agencies. But I've never accepted those limitations. Uh, in big murder cases, and more so in the Manson case than any other case, I always go out into the field, join, join the LAPD or the LA Sheriff's Office in the investigation, interviewing witnesses, knocking on doors, chasing down leads. It's, if you rely completely on law enforcement, if they do a good job, fine, but if they don't, it's legal suicide. Also, it's much easier to present a case in court that you've helped, you've helped put together. So my role in that case uh, was as a prosecutor, but I also joined in the investigation. And my involvement was complete seven days a week, uh, frequently 100 hours a week. There were a couple nights I stayed up all night, I worked over the uh, lunch hour. I had a little cot in my office where I would lie down for 10 minutes. Uh, the bodyguard who drove me to and from work, I'm working in the car. So it's full time, seven days a week for two years. I'd been in the office, the LA County District Attorney's Office, for five years after graduating uh, from UCLA Law School. And I was assigned to the Trials Division. And in the Trials Division, there's all types of trials, but I was handling mostly serious felonies, robbery, murder, rape, etc. Do you want Mr. Canary to challenge the jurors, or are you ready to accept anyone that's put into the box? You try, you've already tried the case. Just a minute, just a minute. Uh, please. Uh, Do you have eyes? Open them. Because of my background in the office, the highest conviction rate, I had some indication that it would be I who would be assigned to the Manson case. I would say my main reaction uh, was that I was honored that the DA had enough confidence in me to assign me to a case of this enormous magnitude and complexity. It was the biggest murder case that the LADA's office had ever had. In terms of publicity, not importance, the most important case was the assassination Senator Robert F. Kennedy by Sir Han Sir Han. But in terms of publicity, the Manson case exceeded the RFK case. So it was the biggest publicity case that the LADA's office had ever had. And I, I felt I felt prepared. I mean, in other words, I felt that I'd be able to handle it. And I felt that I would be able to justify the confidence that the DA had in me. I, I felt that I was up to it. <laughs> 